Welcome back guys to Andrew Pemmin YouTube. Today I'm here today in a location with my Saab Aero uh, Convertible um, 9.3 to talk to you about a modification for it for the ECU. Uh, those of you that come across my channel uh, for the first time, Saab enthusiasts, welcome aboard. Uh, we'll talk a bit about today this modification kit and what you need to desperately do urgently to, to do to your cars to protect that ECU. Uh, so anyway, let's jump right in and talk about it. What is an ECU? An ECU is basically the electronic control unit of a car. It controls all the aspects of the fuel and mixtures, calibration. It's the heart and the brains of your car and without that it just doesn't go. So what's happening today is we've found an issue with the this model Saab whereby the ECU gets uh, not just metal fatigue but it actually heats up a fair bit and we've got an amazing concept invention slash modification uh, that I've come across uh, thanks to Steve Emanuel from Saab, Saab Salvage. We'll talk about in a minute about that kit and how it works. Let's talk a little bit about why we need to stop the heat. Saab have always been great engineers, the incredible uh, inventors of uh, not just aeronautical, but also, you know, motor vehicles. But when GM got involved, I think they pretty much dropped the ball. They put the ECU, I can feel the heat, coming out of this thing now. The ECU has been located in a really weird place. It was located on the manifold intake, which gets to about 100 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius. Um, the ECU basically is a very small one on this model, and I'll put the models of cars up below while I'm talking now. You'll see the models this affects, and the 9.3 models this actually has an issue with. The longevity of these things, usually 10 to 12 years, uh, obviously metal fatigue, heat, can limit that longevity uh, and what I'm about to show you today is an amazing little kit that will lift it off the manifold and keep it cool and uh, improve not just the, the heat dissipation but also uh, will keep a damper effect with the rubberized footings on it as well stopping less vibrations. Uh, so where is it located? Well it's located on the manifold intake uh, and that is a crazy place to put it. It's just a ridiculous place to put um, a, a control unit with a circuit board that actually wraps around itself. It's very fine circuits on it uh, and when they fail, this is the, the clanger, when these um, fail, that is it, they're gone. Uh, AB International Saab are not making them anymore. Uh, you can't get them remapped. I got the last one for my car coming out of Sweden. It was 1200 Australian dollars, $50 to fit it. But when they go, guys, when the ECUs fail on these models, your car is redundant. It's over. It's about six fail in Sydney. They go to the wreckers. Perfectly good cars. So uh, by doing this, you're investing in uh, an insurance policy to keep your uh, ECU cool and also to keep the longevity of it and um, really protecting your whole car and insurance policy for the whole car. So uh, thank you for joining me today. What I'll do now, that's the intro. I'll talk to you a little bit about the actual kit, what you get. I'm not involved or affiliated with this. This is coming straight from a guy called Steve Emanuel from Saab Salvage in Sydney, a technician of 38 years for Saab. He's got 25 Saabs, he races them. He's a, a guru of Saab Australia and he's developed this kit which he's selling from uh, Australia, export worldwide, around $100 US or something to fit it. You can fit it yourself. Uh, so let's jump right in, have a look, let's meet Steve, have a look at the kit and have a look at uh, what it's offering and the benefits. I'll also do a temperature gauge uh, measurement with a laser uh, temperature measurement of the uh, manifold and the ECU prior to this part going on and after an hour drive back at about 36 degrees Celsius in Sydney and temperature gauge that again and see the difference in the temperature and what difference this makes. But anyway guys, getting ready, sit back, enjoy and we'll now take you to the kit, installation and how you can purchase one. Till next time guys, thank you so much Andrew Penman. Okay guys, we're here with Steve Emanuel from Saab Salvage in Sydney, Australia. Uh, this man is a guru of Saab, well, how many years? 38 years. Steve, nice to meet you. Andrew. 38 years for Saab, he was the guru guy, they flew him around Australia, he was a, the fault finding specialist troubleshooter. What he doesn't know about Saab is just not worth knowing about. So tell us Steve a little bit about um, your history and, and where you come from and the whole, the whole thing. Yeah, history, spent 
seven, eight years at a dealership uh, doing my Saab training. And uh, then I got a job for Saab Australia as a service engineer, troubleshooter, fixing all the cars that basically the other dealers couldn't sort out. Wow. So yeah, flew around the country. It was a great job, very interesting, met lots of great people. Yeah, and, uh, and then and I started my own business after that. Uh, and here it is. And we'll get some drone footage yeah. as on the end of this video showing where he is. Worldwide shipping guys about this new modification kit. Uh, and uh, basically, Steve will be able to answer any questions, ring up, telephone, email, whatever. Now, what actually, how did you get involved with this modification? Oh, look, I just see so many people wanting to buy TADCUs because of failure. Uh, I've got two of the cars myself. My wife drives one, my son drives one. And, gotta uh, keep the wife happy. Gotta, gotta keep, keep the wife happy. So uh, I thought, geez, you know, let's work out, see if we can work out why or what's contributing to the point of these uh, failures. Uh, and, you know, I just think it's a crazy spot where they've mounted it. All that latent heat that comes up from the engine soaks straight into the computer. So I thought, well, let's go about trying to cool it down a little. So, uh, yeah, come up with the Bakelite plate and some rubber mountings and. Uh, yeah, here we are. And you know what, Mike, this is my car here, my Saab. I'm a Saab enthusiast. I've had Saabs for, what, 27, 26 years or something. And mine came across uh, my ECU Blue. I thought, oh yeah, I'll get a new one. $1,200 Australian later, and maybe a half an hour to fit it. I was out of pocket, but I was the last person to get one in Australia. And this is not a, 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 a sort of a clickbait thing. This is serious. You cannot get these anymore. Saab AB parts, uh, international, they're not making these, are they? They're not building, they're not mapping them you cannot get these ECUs so if you got this model and we'll go through below the screen here with all the models you'll see now that are affected uh, from this range of ECU design this is the ultimate fix to lift it off the uh, manifold keep it cool and for I don't know what it's going to cost the links below talk to it's um, around the hundred dollar mark but we can talk about well, you can talk about how much it is uh, there's some adjustments to it but it is a brilliant concept so you must order order this one of these because it'll protect your car it's an insurance policy not only for twelve hundred dollars that you can't get anymore but you, you can't drive your car anymore correct it yeah. well it's trying to keep them going as long as we can they're gone yep. once yours ECU so, goes you got no Saab anymore. I think we've got to take out as many contributing factors as to the failure of the ECU as possible. Mm. And I think this is one of them at least. It absolutely so. is. Now I've done the temperature before and after. We'll see that coming up before the ECU um, uh, adapt, adapter kit, uh, heat dis dispenser, what do you want to call it? I think Steve will have a name for it. Uh, but it's going to be a, the, the modification to fix the heat and the uh, overdue um, increase the longevity of this thing. Uh, and basically, uh, we'll check the temperature before and after, and we'll go inside and have a look at the kit and see what you get. And uh, thanks so much for uh, stopping in, and Steve will be able to answer all your questions. So, uh, yeah, we'll go and look at what, what you got. Let's okay. have a look. Done. Steve, so we're going to talk about the kit now and what actually is in the kit. Um, so, first of all, explain what the kit is and what people can expect to get. The kit comprises of all the items you see here, uh, wow. and it's here to alleviate all the hot temperature coming up to the base of the TADCU, and therefore taking a lot of heat out of it. Um, yeah, I'm noticing these rubber, they've got like a soft bit in the middle, they're yep, really well like made. that's like an engine cushion, so wow. that'll take some vibration out as well. This here's your Bakelite plate, uh, which what's, is... What's that, about six mil thick or six seven? Six mil thick, yeah, Whoa. that's a fantastic. Gee, that's a good quality. You've got your, all your engraving in there, patent pending, whatever. It's just incredible. The first of its kind in the world, guys. This is a first here on YouTube. So, yeah. Um, and got that's, some, that's the... Sorry, yeah. Got some studs here, uh, which we have to replace, and some coupling nuts. Uh, that allows us to lift up the engine cover so that it's not going to rub on the ECU yep. uh, when we put it all back together because we're taking it about 20 millimetres off the inlet manifold. That's right. Uh, we've also got an earth cable here which we have to add uh, to the ECU uh, and we run that down to the electronic throttle mm. uh, as now that we've got rubber mountings there'll be no earth to the manifold so Beautiful. we just run that separate earth wire to give us an earth back. And we'll show the guys how to attach that earth. The rest of it's straightforward as we talked about. Anyone can do this. Show us the ECU and how does this kind of roughly sit together. Okay, here's one of our ECUs. Uh, uh, which you cannot get anymore, I might add. This no, is gone. Very, very hard to find, like gold. Pretty much impossible. You uh, can't they it. normally bolt straight onto the inlet manifold here. So all the heat comes up from the engine, through the manifold, straight through the computer. Wow. You've also got hot air from the thermo fan blowing hot uh, air onto the, to the unit. So by putting our Bakelite plate underneath it uh, and having an air gap between, which will be like so, we'll have these sitting on there, oh, which will beautiful. hold the plate onto the manifold. And then our, our ECU 
will mount on top of that. Look like at that. So. Look at that clearance. And give you wow. the extra clearance you need. And that and nice rubberized um, yeah. sort of membrane. Uh, Take some vibration, vibration out uh, and Brilliant. get rid of a lot of the temperature out of it. Fantastic, Steve. Now we'll also do a temperature um, of my car now after dropping an hour and 30 degree heat. And then when we mount this, I'll get home and do it again with the same temperature uh, thermometer, which I've got in my pocket here, which I'll just show you now. So there's no argument about this machine. Um, we'll see what that does. Uh, and yeah, we'll get out now and um, actually put it on the car. Put it on the car and watch Beautiful. it all work. Thanks, Steve. Put awesome. This is the man who knows everything about Saab. Oh, I don't know me. about everything. <laughs> He's being very <laughs> humble, but he is a guru on Saab. Okay, guys, okay, guys we'll you can see the now. finished product here on the bench. That, look at that clearance under there, all the heat being blown under. Plus, we talked about that manifold um, cutting out of the Hick rocker cover plastic. Um, look at that. That's how it sits, basically. So you can get a good look at it now. Beautiful. Absolute ingenious. Here we are, now we're going to test the temperature of the ECU, the original ECU attached to the manifold. The temperature right now, you can see from my watch there, is 27 degrees in Sydney. Uh, extremely hot here, Steve. Now we're going to uh, take the cover manifold off uh, and just temperature measure what it is now. It's been an hour drive roughly, so we'll have a look at this temperature right now and test out what it could be. I'll just turn it on. Here we go. See, it says 29 degrees on that right now. Okay, there we go. Oh, there it is. Okay, there she is. That's the that's the ECU. So what we'll do, I might get Steve to actually measure this by pushing the button. So all you do is push that button there, and you hit it anywhere, wherever you want. We'll have a look at some temperatures on it. 63.2. 63.2. Beautiful. And that's on the metal part just that's there. That's on the computer itself. There you go. That's the computer. That's where it's mounted, guys. You can see where it's mounted on the actual manifold, technically, is it? On the inlet manifold. Inlet manifold. What a joke. So, no, if you're out there watching sub uh, designer, engineer who designed this, GM, probably employee, I'd say, you reckon, <laughs> should be shot. <laughs> Only kidding, but it, it's an appalling place to put it. Um, so, Steve's going to now take it off and we're going to have a look and change it. Uh, but we'll check the, check the temperature after we get the this complete um, uh, mod modification upgrade for the ECU. Guys, and this is the, what do you call this, Steve? This, this is, is the, the engine cover to make everything look pretty. Okay, this is, as you can see, this is Steve um, showing me the engine cover. Now, what he said, if you want to even go to more extreme, if you're in Arizona, like a lot of your sub enthusiasts are, and the temperature gets really hot, you can router this out here with a drill or a router uh, a bit with, on a drill bit and cut these slots, because this has not actually got any airing. It's all sealed, just a design. And the back here, where it does take the air, Air out, you can actually cut that, which I'm going to do, and make it bigger across here, which will give you beautiful airflow across, which comes across the whole ECU. I thoroughly recommend doing that if you're in a hot climate like Australia and Midwest America. Steve's here. I'm very lucky to have Bill Gates working on my computer. Effectively, <laughs> this man, what he doesn't know about Saab, you can write a postage stamp that big. <laughs> okay, Steve, take us through what we need to do to replace this um, heat uh, device. Okay, got... so step one, we need to remove the engine cover. Very simple, three screws here. Wow. And we take those off. The engine cover just sits on, basically. Uh, it's held on the front through two rubber grommets. Yep, well, it just lifts right off. Which okay. you can see on these pins here. Oh, wow. Right, now on the kit, what we need to do is this kit here, we need to lift it up. Yep. Because by lifting up the, the uh, And that's it there, ECU, here we are. This, this is the ECU here. There's our T8 There it ECU. is. You can see it's a brand new one, guys. I bought a brand new one. It cost me 1,300 Australian dollars and about an hour to fit or whatever, a half an hour. That cost me a lot of money. If I had known about this part and this upgrade, I would have probably not failed on my one. Uh, so this is what we need to lift off. It's actually attached to the manifold under there, intake. We'll see that as we pull yeah. it apart. So Steve's going to show you. Now, guys, this is the procedure to do it. It's pretty straightforward. So okay, Steve's so number two, we can just take off the bellows here, the intake bellows, okay. which is a hose clamp. We don't have to remove the whole bellows off the car. Oh wow. Uh, so we just do that there and lift it out of the way. It's probably the hardest part of the job, prizing it off. Wow. And then we can just move that out of the way. Just sit up there. Yeah. This is our throttle housing here. 
Uh, next, what we to do is take these two 10 mil nuts off here. Which are these two just there? Yep, to lift up that that mounting the, bracket mount, for the. This is going to come up cover. before you take the ECU off. So, again, this is not rocket science, guys. Uh, pretty straightforward stuff. Just don't drop any screws down the engine bay. But this man's done this for 40 years, longer than I've ever worked in uh, my last job. So, this is like something he's very, very, very used to doing. But it's, uh, it's okay. Awesome. So then we can lift that wow. just out of the way. Look at that. Uh, then we have our four bolts that hold the ECU okay, down. So these are one, this one, yep. two, then Three, these are the bolts and next. one under here. So. so these are actually normally attached to metal on metal. The heat goes right through. There's no vibration damper effect. Uh, I don't know why this wasn't thought of ages ago. I'm so proud to be a part of um, Steve's enterprising invention on this, and I hope wish him all the best of luck. And I think you know it's going to be an incredible, cheap uh, insurance policy on this part because once it goes, like I said, see you later. The car's scrapped pretty much, and I'm not joking. Try and get one worldwide, you will not get one. They are impossible. I got the last one. I'm very lucky. <laughs> We've opened one up and had a look inside it. It's it's a really weird design, isn't it, Steve? The circuit board full here. of resin, so you can't actually get to any of the electronics. Uh, they sort of made it so that it was pretty much a throwaway item. Yeah. Like most things today. Throw away when the company's in operation. Yes, absolutely. That's really good. Thing to be careful of. There's an earth strap on this bolt under here. Oh yeah. Right? Make sure that goes back on because that actually earths the computer. Wow. So, you know what? I had the guys change my battery and they they're trying to. Ah, uh, there you go. So it may not okay, be. Okay. So as we can see, that Whoa. ECU bolts directly onto now, that nice look bottom at, inlet manifold. Look at this. It's even hot after it's been here for 30 minutes, 40 minutes. It's still hot. I can't touch it. This is a joke. This is what you need to lift it off with these incredible. Right. So basically what we're doing here is we're sitting this down onto our manifold like, right, like so, it's upside down. I'll cut all Gotta give me my advertising there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that. So we sit Look that there that. and then we use these rubber mounts. You've got to be kidding. Cushioning mounts to then bolt this back down. Oh my gosh. So effectively, that is it 12 mil or 10 mil? What's the thickness? No, on the six millimeter is our Bakelite plate. Yep. Okay. And our uh, rubber mounts are 15 millimeters. Wow. So pretty much we're lifting this thing 20 millimeters off the inlet manifold. Yep. The rubber mounting is also taking the heat out of the threads, so heat transfer up the bolts. Yep. Uh, because of the rubber mounting. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, that will also reduce the heat going through the ECU. Jeez. What an amazing idea. So you must have this uh, a brainwave one night laying in bed to just think oh, of this. Look, everybody <laughs> keeps ringing me. They're always looking for T8 ECUs here in Australia. They're not it's such a high failure rate item. Uh, and as we've said, we can't buy new ones. Uh, so it's one of those things you've got to think outside the square. Look at that. So that's a nice... And you've got the air rating coming underneath. And now yep. we're... So this basically didn't have, all this we had, need... Look, it had no air rating. It's flushed. The bottom of the actual unit is flushed. Well, there was an air space underneath, but a all little... the heat was going straight up into it. Even yeah. putting your hand on that, now you feel the heat's still in. Oh, jeez. That's, that's about... Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll test it now. I'll get my thermometer out. Um, it's been sitting for 40 minutes. There we go. I'll just get it on now and turn it on. Here we go. And you can see that it says 35 there. It's the temperature outside. 36 degrees. Hang on. So there you go. 36 degrees on that. That's after one hour of sitting here. And I can't touch my hand on it. So, so now all we do is we sit the that. ECU back on top. As you can see, nothing's changed in its position. Look at that. Unbelievable. This is just really impressive. I, I just am blown away with this. Now the ECU is bolted down, you can see that we have a little bit of movement in it, so it takes out any vibrations as well, but it's not too loose by putting those little suspension it's mounts on there. beautiful. That. Like if I touch it, there's just, there's just no way I could, that's moving at all, but you've got that little bit of just damp and like just suspension. It's just beautiful. So, so then what we need to do, because we've lifted the ECU up, when we go to fit this back on here, it's going to hit on the ECU. Oh, I see. So right. Yeah, the other no, get two parts that are in the kit, we have to, we have to. It's these parts, these yep, parts here. These yep. We have to change these studs. So we remove these two out of the throttle housing. Let's get a close up of that. That's the ones that come down the bottom of the throttle housing. Yep, the two bottom ones. And they okay, also. So make. after removing those bolts, you'll have two studs supplied, and you'll see there's a screwdriver slot in the oh, end of the stud, wow, yep. so that it's easy to fit. And all you do is screw them in. Get your small flat blade screwdriver. Oh, right, you can screw it from the end, yeah, brilliant. Screw them in from, from the 
And no need to put any sort of grease or anything on there. That no, doesn't happen. Yeah. Just no, nah, it's just all. It's just a stud. This is me talking. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm actually a technical guy. I'm an electrical fitter mechanic, but I've done down the trade a long time. And uh, you just screw is... them down as far as they go. Wow. Beautiful. Look at that. And then we have two special long nuts yeah long long lengths to, to now Double move length that. nuts which what do you call this part of the this part that's this? just the mounting bracket for the engine cover right so a mounting bracket will normally touch the ECU here so what Steve's doing is making extension and we this. use the double length nuts oh, the coupling nuts they're called beautiful and, and then that, that spaces up the same distance as what we've spaced oh, up the computer brilliant so we just put those down on there and this comes in the kit everything this, everything will come in the kit that's required what a great protection and what an incredible idea to insurance policy your, uh, your your whole car effectively I noticed a couple of nine trees like mine out of sub tech there on the street and I said to Steve what's happened they said they're gone you can't even get them they're just they're gonna sell them for wreckage and parts so sad like an aero like mine and Mac at 100,000 K's uh, and it just cannot be driven anymore so we tighten those oh, two up they have really spaced the right All depth, right so, so then what we're able to do is refit refit the bracket now and as you can see we have a space here so oh, it's not going to hit the computer look at that. that spacing there is just look at it you can see that perfect. and then we can put our it's nuts perfect. back on also allows us to uh, put the engine cover back on uh, without affecting anything else on the car now we've taken our time on this because i want to see what, what how it's done but you know you could do this probably in under half this time if you're a, 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 a tech guy, yeah. really really 15 minute job you know even if, well, if, if say uh, a, a person who's not very um, maybe a female i'm not saying that they're not tech but if they want to just take this in it's you're not looking at a, a, an hour of labor would you no no no, no. so uh, you get me your mechanic to fit it if it's in for service yeah or as I say, it's an easy enough job that you can do it yourself. Yeah. And we put our clamp back on for wow. our, for the... our uh, intake pipe. So this is the earth here. So okay, what... so what we've had to do, because we've now taken the earth away from the ECU, we've had to add an earth. So we've okay. added an earth wire from this point and then put it down to the throttle housing bolt. Okay. And the earth wire that was originally on the computer, we've also moved to the throttle housing okay. bolt. So recapping, uh, normally uh, that goes on the bottom. The, it goes the onto the ECU. ECU, but now you have to, it comes in the kit, a little extension. That's correct. Earth to go on this spot here. See there, yep. guys? You need to earth there. So the original cable comes from the ECU now to this part of the engine block. And then there's a little, uh, the earth lead that Steve will supply which goes from there back as you can see onto the bolt of the computer right there there in the back there you can just see if I can get in there um, there you go you can just see the red tail of it there going onto the that little extension comes in the kit and you just move the original earth to the engine bolt and then put the new extension onto the top see there on the top of that uh, of that ECU that earth the ECU properly and you need to do that guys otherwise um, it's not going to start. That's the thing. Okay, now that we've got it all fitted, double check. Don't forget the earth cable up here. Right, yep. Right, earth. when you put this bolt in, that's most important. All our hoses are tight, our bolts are tight. Look at that. This is now fitted. It's given us the, the correct space under there. We can fit our engine cover on now. Like I said, very, uh, very easy to fit. I, I, I'll talk a bit about how to open these air vents uh, after this and show you what you can do to create more air through this. But really, this is going to reduce the temperature by God, it has to be 25 degrees of oh, more. Oh, it's an easy 25 degrees, wow. probably more than that. So then we line up our two slots here on the, the rubber, push it down. Also, lines up here. Everything fits back on as it should, but we've spaced the computer up. Beautiful. By My gosh, so you wouldn't even know it's got that insurance policy now. It's going to drop the temperature by 25 to 35 degrees. Um, this is the, we believe, the culprit for this failing. Well, one um, of them. One of them, exactly. Obviously, wear and tear anywhere with anything will, will wear, but you know, we should be looking at you know, at least half, if not probably even double the life of these things if possible with this kind of a, a, adaption to it. Steve, that is and there's a completed job. There you go, Steve. So incredible. Done properly, you should end up with these two parts left over. <laughs> Which parts these two? Yeah, That's all you got. Beautiful. Thanks, Steve. That's awesome.
cover. There we go. There's the new, there's the new setup. Look at that. There's the uh, modification for the ECU, the heat displacer. Look at that. Um, looks beautiful. So last time I tested it, we'll just check the temperature outside. The temperature is 27 degrees on my Apple Watch. Very hot in Sydney. I'll turn on my meter, heat meter, laser. It says temperature is 31 degrees, so it's pretty warm. Let's test the last time I touched it down here. It was 69 degrees before putting this modification on. Let's test it now, right now live. Been driven for one hour and 45 degrees. There you go, 45. I'll do it one more time to prove it's right. Push the button. 46 degrees, slightly warmer. I'll just take it on the engine block. You can see that's 72 degrees. Now I'll take it back here. 46 degrees. Pretty much the same. 44 degrees, there you go. So it works 20 degrees cooler. 20, actually 24 degrees cooler with that setup on the uh, ECU. It's a win. This is a perfect setup. Okay, in fact, I'm going to do something else a bit interesting. Uh, where this uh, ECU was normally attached, which is right under there, which is the manifold intake, I'm going to put my laser under that and get the temperature of that block where it normally would be positioned. And I'll get it on there. It's lined up now. Push the button. Right. There you go. 75 degrees. 75 degrees where it normally was attached. And on top now, where it is attached, it's 49 try it again yeah 44 didn't quite get it 44 degrees so you can see 44 degrees opposed to where it was attached to the manifold which is 75 degrees so that's where the the protection comes from the Bakelite uh, shield heat shield and you've got these rubber mounts to stop all the heat coming through the screws massive difference i'll have to do the summers but uh 74 degrees minus uh 44 degrees is a pretty big difference in temperature okay that's a wrap i'm going to show you guys you can just see the remnants of this uh, modification there there you go see it through there that's the baker light base and you can actually see the rubber supports and uh, heat dampers and vibration dampers so you can see it under there. So if you see a second-hand Saab that's got one of these in, you're very lucky. But they're brand new inventions, so you won't see many at the moment. But there you go. Well, guys, that wraps it up. Yeah, brilliant concept, brilliant invention, and a great insurance policy against your ECU on these Saab models.